What's up, cinema lovers, and welcome to another episode of Two High Cinemas. I'm your host, Sharem. And here with Two High Cinemas, I like to give my opinion on some of the most popular pieces of cinema in the world. In today's episode, I'm going to be doing a run-through and review of Loki, episode four, starring Tom Hiddleston, Sofia DiMartino, and Owen Wilson. Now let's get into it. Many years earlier, Hunter Ravona Renslayer of the Time Variance Authority arrests a young Sylvie for crimes against the sacred timeline and erases her timeline from existence. But Sylvie steals Renslayer's tempad during her trial and escapes into the timeline. In the present, TVA agent Mobius and Mobius asks Renslayer to see Hunter C-20, but Renslayer claims C-20 died from a mental breakdown caused by Sylvie's enchantment. In 2077, amidst the destruction of the moon Lamentis One, a stranded Sylvie and Loki form a romantic connection. This creates a unique branch timeline, a nexus event, perpendicular to the sacred timeline which alerts the TVA who come to rescue and arrest the pair. Returning to headquarters, Mobius has Loki imprisoned in a time loop of a moment from his past on Asgard with Sif, wherein she attacks him and says he will always be alone. On that note, don't forget to check out some of our merch options provided by KLB Supply at klbsupply.com. Follow KLB Supply and Two High Cinemas on all social media platforms. Like and subscribe for any updates. And let's get back into it. Mobius pulls Loki out to interrogate him about how the Nexus event occurred, then mocks Loki's narcissism and falling in love with Sylvie. After Loki reveals that the TVA employees are time variants, Mobius sends him back into the time loop. Mobius later steals Renslayer's tempad on which he finds a recording of her interviewing a mentally sound C-20 who confirms Loki's statement. Meanwhile, a destroyed Hunter B-15 brings Sylvie to 2050, Alabama, and asks the latter to show her memories of her past life, having glimpsed them when Sylvie previously enchanted her, learning her own true variant nature in the process. Mobius frees Loki, but they are confronted by Renslayer and TVA troopers. Mobius acknowledges his betrayal and variant status, leading to Renslayer ordering him to be pruned, seemingly killing him. Renslayer takes Loki and Sylvie to the Timekeepers, during which Sylvie asks Renslayer why she was first arrested, though Renslayer claims not to remember. The Timekeepers order Loki and Sylvie to be deleted, but B-15 frees the pair of their restraints. Loki and Sylvie team up to fight and defeat Renslayer and the Timekeepers guards, though B-15 is knocked unconscious. Sylvie beheads the Timekeeper only to learn they are all androids. As Loki attempts to tell Sylvie about his feelings, Renslayer recovers and prunes him. Angered, Sylvie overpowers her and demands the truth about the TVA. So now the review. Yo, I'm loving this show. Uh, <laughs> we finally get to see Sylvie's origin uh, as a variant, and then Renslayer was the one that arrested Sylvie when she was only a child? Yo, crazy. <laughs> We see her go through some like degrading, like the same degrading process uh, our Loki variant went through and how she escaped. Um, makes more sense on why this is such an important variant to Renslayer. Like, cause I was wondering like, yo, why is Renslayer like all un- in her? Like, like relax. Like it's not that serious. Like there's a million other variants that y'all like trapped and everything like that. Or y'all should be going against or going after. Like relax, it's not that serious. But I see why now. <laughs> uh, Kree, Titans, and Vampires? All hinted at at being victims of the TVA's pruning. I mean, the TVA has more power than Vampires, uh, Titans, and Kree. Says a lot. Uh, the Lady Sif time loop was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I was right. Uh, even every time he was trying to like fix it or make it happen different, it always went back to that, him getting kicked in the nuts. Funny. Uh, when Sylvie was showing Hunter B-15 her life before the TVA, or yo, I'm not gonna lie, her reaction got me. When she said, I looked happy, oh my god, chills. Like, her acting was on point, (laughs) yo. On point. Uh, I knew Renslayer was hiding something, but really, uh, not dealing with, uh, I'm really not dealing with her after, uh, she pro Mobius. Like, nah, I'm, I'm not even, I don't like her now. I don't even care no more. I don't like her. She pro Mobius. I don't care if that brings you or whatever it does, but she pro Mobius. That was supposed to be her friend. She did him dirty. Uh, 
what's even more messed up is that Renslayer says she don't even remember what Sylvie's crime was, but yet you following her for eons, like trying to stop her, but you don't even remember what her crime was. And we finally see the timekeepers. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, the throne room looks dope. Like, <laughs> I need a room like that. Like, just just a man cave and then just like smoke all over the ground. <laughs> Everything's grayish, blue, and then there's like a red logo on the back of a throne chair. Like, it was dope. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it was dope. But, um, when we get the realization that they, they aren't even real, they're androids, uh, the mystery continues. Oh yeah, Loki gets prone. What the hell? So now I'm migrating. So now for comedy, definitely gonna give it dank. Drama, dank. Action, dank. Horror, this episode more on the mid side. And that was my run through and review of today's movie. Please hit the like, subscribe, and comment down below what you would like me to review next. For now, smoke you later.